Now last week I showed you how to use rules in layers. This week we're going to show you how those layers can be used to create simplified representations. And You may have seen this before, it's kind of a pump model that's been floating around in uh, PTC demos for years. I'm going to go to the view manager and I'm going to create a new simplified rep. I'm going to call it no hardware. And let's say in the scheme of the way things work at this uh, you know, fictional company that makes these pumps, all of my washers have this WA prefix on them and all my uh, bolts have this CSDD prefix in there. So I've got a great way I can apply a no hardware rule. I just filter all things out that have that naming convention. First of all, I'm going to set my default rule to master. And now you can see I've got this little model rules pick in the simp rep editor. I'm going to say I want to edit rules. And I want to create a condition, a rule to be evaluated. I want to exclude, and I don't have anything existing in the pull down. So I'm going to create a rule. I'm going to call it the same thing, just for clarity. Call it no hardware. And now I'm back to the familiar looking rule editor. And I want to get rid of all models whose name is equal to, and if I start typing CS, oops, excuse me there, CSDD, see it finds the existing part, but I'm going to put an asterisk on there so it's a wild card. And I also want to get rid of the washers. Now here is where rules come very nice, where I can create multiples. So I can say look for this or look for that. I can preview all the things it'll find, say OK. Now it kicks me back into the simp rep editor. Now you can see if I expand any of these patterns, it's finding and applying that rule here. So now, I've got that no hardware rep where nothing is showing. None of the hardware, none of the washers, none of the bolts. Now here's where this comes in nice. Normally you could create a rep like that if you search for things. It's a one-shot deal. But let's go to the master rep. Again, turn all that on. I'm going to throw in another bolt in here. Just throw it somewhere where we can see it in there, not necessarily where it makes any terrible sense. And we'll move this guy close in. We'll rotate him a little bit. And I'm just going to throw him on that flange. Now even though that bolt didn't exist when I applied this rule-based rep, it's constantly applied. So when I go to this no hardware rep, it's still applying that rule and it gets rid of that hardware. So whether you're using these for layers or simplified reps, they're a very powerful tool. So if you have any questions about this or anything else, you can contact me, Mark Ganser, or one of the other technical account managers at EAC, or contact your EAC account manager. Thanks and have a great day.